Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on how you can make a DIY vending machine box. Now this can be really great as a gift and even for special occasions such as Easter or any other type of events. Now this is quite easy to make. As you can see here, I took inspiration from the TV show Clueless and applied some of the decals to this box. And I also added in a collage as well. So it's pretty easy to make and I'm gonna show you step by step of how you can make your own. So to start off with this project, I have my ruler in my pen and I have my poster board that I got at my local dollar store. So I'm putting in all the measurements and the first couple of measurements is the width and height of the box. So I'm doing 12 and 3 quarters and 20 inches in height. I'm also doing the measurements for the part where the items will be shown inside of the box. So that's 10 inches at the top and 12 and a quarter of an inch on the side. So I'm going to make the markings and take my X-Acto knife and cut it out. And that is our current measurement. I'm also going to do the same for the bottom. And this will be the part where it's very similar to a vending machine and the items will come out. And this is just for the look. You can get creative and actually make the items come out, but I'm just giving it the look and feel of an actual vending machine. Our next measurement will be the 20 inches for the side. So you wanna make sure you do it twice so that you have a side view of your vending machine box. And when you take your X-Acto knife, you don't wanna cut all the way through. You wanna cut a little bit at the top layer, and this is going to allow you to bend, so now you are creating that box. Now this part you do wanna cut off because we're gonna use it to create the back and top part of our box. So I'm cutting another piece so that I can add it to the other side of the vending machine. So you wanna make sure the measurements are the same, which is 20 inches in height and four inches in width so that they match up. And the next thing that I'm going to do is cut out the back of the box. Feel free at any moment to pause this video so that you can get the measurements for the back side. And I'm going to add a pop of color. So I decided to add in some gift wrapping paper and I'm taking some double-sided stick tape to add to my board to adhere the paper to the board. Once I do that and it's all placed in nicely, I'm going to go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and just cut off any excess paper that is not needed. So I'm just kind of putting things together to see how it looks before I start gluing things. The next thing you want to do is cut the bottom of your box. So once again, the measurements are here on the screen and you just want to take your X-Acto knife and cut it out. Now I'm taking my hot glue gun. This is the fun part where we're putting everything together. So I just put a little bit at a time and I'm going ahead and put it aside together. Then I'm going to add the bottom part of the box and glue that as well. Now, before I add the back and the top, I am going to add in two shelves to the box. So this is going to allow me to add the items on top inside of the box. And I decided to add gift wrapping paper to that as well. And the measurements for it is four and a quarter of an inch and 12 inches for the inside as far as the length, okay? I also added in some plastic. This is honestly some random plastic that was sitting around in the house, um, but there's all types of plastic that you can use for this box. I'll have a link for you guys down below. And now I'm making markings for where the shelves will be placed in the box. So you can decide if you wanna do two or three shelves, it's all dependent on you, but I decided to do two. And this is what it looks so far. Now I'm gonna add the back of the box. And I'm also deciding on what decor I wanted to add. So I took some tape and I'm adding it to the side of the box to give it a nice glittery trim. Here I have some stickers that I printed out um, of Clueless, one of my favorite shows ever. And I'm deciding how I wanna cut it out to cover up the black parts of the box. 
So I just, you know, took my ruler, made the measurements, cut it out exactly the way the box is, and I placed it right on top. And by the way, I use printable stickers, so I will go ahead and put a link down below if you guys want to order on my Amazon storefront. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm pretty happy with the look. And I also decided to add in like realistic buttons for the machine, such as the part where you insert the cash and then the actual button. So it can really give it that vending machine look. And I just paste it right on top. So we are almost done, but I got to add in my goodies. So I got some candy from the dollar store and I would suggest if you have anything that has a little bit of weight to it, or if you want to stack it on top of each other, it's best to take a little bit of the hot glue gun and paste it in the box so it doesn't shift and move around and mess up the entire look. So I did put a little bit of glue and you see nothing is moving. I also printed out a push button totally optional but i printed it out because once again i want to give this the look of an actual vending machine okay so next we're going to add in the back and paste it with the hot glue gun and then we at the top you guys and we are done this is the finished look of the vending machine i'm so excited so happy with the way it looked and I really feel like this is going to be the new way for me to give gifts to friends and family, especially for special occasions and holidays and stuff. So you don't have to put candy in there. You can put makeup. You can put really fun things in your box. But if you decide to make a vending machine box, definitely tag me on Instagram and let me know what video you would like to see next.